accommodate for this thing was only because of that makeup package. Okay. Why did it all follow Okay. Okay, cool. Hi everyone, um, hi everyone. Um, my name is Alexa from ID. We're still here in Germany at Melt Festival. Um, it's been three days of amazing concerts and parties. And um, I'm joined now by the artist who's actually playing the last concert of the whole festival tonight at one. Um, yeah, Mu, welcome Karen. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna play the last concert and then it's just like partying um, going on. <laughs> The last one. Well, cool. <laughs> um, so, uh, have you have you played Melt before? No, and I'm so excited to play it. Like I've been wanting to play this festival for like three or four years. So I'm so excited to be here. Why did you want to play it? Like, what was the? So thing? the thing was like it's because that, like my my boyfriend he used to uh, be in this band called Reptile Youth and he played it four years ago and everybody was always talking about how fucking awesome it was and like how crazy all the you know industrial environment and like all these things and just how mad people went. And so I've just been like, oh, I want to get booked to that festival as well. And so when I was told by my booker, like my agent, that I was booked this year, I was like, fuck you, yes, I got it. <laughs> did, you, did you have a chance already to walk around and see like the craziness that's oh, going on? Not, not really, not yet. Oh, I've only like driven past it, but I'm going to, I think, either before my show or after, I'm going to go out and check it out. Maybe party, actually. Yeah. You should have been. They also like shoot fire in the air and stuff. Yeah. It's really, it's really, really good. Um, so um, we ask uh, our followers on Facebook um, if they have any questions for you um, and they send in um, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions came in and I'm going to ask you some now if that's fine for you. Cool. So um, um, Ricardo wants to know what was your craziest moment with a fan? My craziest moment with a fan? Uh, I mean... I, I don't know if it's the craziest, like, but, but a nice moment like that I always re think about when people ask me this is uh, that once, actually I played, it was in, it was in Germany, it was in, I played in Hamburg and then a girl came up to, to me and she'd done like all these like super like pro made like uh, cupcakes, you know, like, like totally, you know, perfect, like, like you would buy them in a fancy shop, like all these cupcakes and then she wrote this letter that one of my songs called Waste of Time had like helped her come through a heartbreak so she wanted to cook me some cupcakes and I thought that was so sweet, for, like so sweet. Were the cupcakes nice as well? Did you, did you try the cupcakes? Were they nice? Yeah, we went out partying and when we came home and were hung out of your ate the whole thing so yeah. So that worked out. Amazing. Um, so uh, Lucas wants to know um, what do you miss most from your old life? My old life? I miss hanging out with my girlfriends all the time and like just and also that whole thing like just partying and being young and free I know it sounds like a cliche but that whole like that whole feeling of like oh I wonder what's gonna come and like you would just sit together like we would be we would hang out like four or five or six seven of us like every night like and like just all the time uh, and they would be your mirror like in so many ways like all the time you could just get everything out of your system and like talk about everything and get to know you, yourself much better and so I miss those days yeah okay. um, what artist dead or alive would you love to collaborate with asks Emily um, I mean there's so many but my number one idol of all time and like the one that I think I've been looking up to the most like in uh, is Kim Gordon from Sonic Youth so probably her Maybe if she sees that. <laughs> um, so um, you've been touring quite a lot. So Lisa wants to know if you have a favorite festival food. Hmm. Um, no, it's not like there's one specific thing like that's my favorite festival food. Just festival food in general is pretty delicious because it's like just, I don't know, just nice and gross and mm, delicious. I don't know. Yeah. Fatty stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're on a festival, so it's like true that. Um, so um, Patricia wants to know if you ever sing your own songs underneath the shower. <laughs> only if it's because I'm worried that, like, only if it's because I have a show and I'm worried that my voice is too raspy, so I have to like practice getting up there. Yeah. And do you? But which songs do you sing if you don't have to practice, or do you? You're not a shower singer. I am 
actually a shower singer, but I wouldn't sing my own songs unless I, it was like a professional matter. Uh, so, but, but what, what songs else? Whitney Houston. I used to always sing the, and so you know the way it feels. That was my shower. So really loud as well, too, like, or was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> Um, Luisa wants to know what the best thing is about living in LA. Well, actually, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like permanently living in LA, but uh, I am there a lot, and it's really nice. I really like it. But to be honest, I've always been like, I, I like to be in one place for a while and then go to another. Like, I, I get restless if I'm, I'm in the same place. So, I like being part time in LA and then part time somewhere else. But is the other time, is it traveling or are you, do you go back home or? I, I go a lot to Denmark as well. And then I think it, it, it's like, okay, if you could, it's like three, it's like LA, Denmark and traveling just in general. So that, that's, yeah, that's how it is. Um, Mia wants to know, where do you get your fashion inspiration from? Uh, I mean, again, you, you go through life and like always like the things in life that has made the biggest impact on you that's where you get your inspiration and and still does but then it's also mixed with all the new inspiration that you find here and there so it's a combination of all the new flattering whoa wow wow this is cool but then also all just my like personal taste throughout the years that i've lived do you have some like, someone like whose style you really like is it someone again kim gordon is one of the main like kim gordon santigol chloe savini yeah, yeah. um yeah. Um, so, what would you say is your biggest strength and your biggest weakness, as Thomas? Mm, strength, I think, is that I'm persistent, uh, and weakness is that I'm super fucking confused all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, then there is a there's a web website. It's called Moosquat. Um, and they ask a question. Um, so they said, as you probably noticed, we send a birthday present to you. Can you guess what it might be? Wait, birthday present? Already? Okay, that's yeah. Wow. And this, okay. Hmm, okay. When, when is your birthday? Is it? It's like on the 13th of August. Okay. So it is, it is pretty, soon. pretty soon. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. Oh my God, Moose Squad, I love you. Thanks. Uh, but okay, a wild guess, I would think maybe it could be something to do with the movements. From Finland because yeah. I'm obsessed with them like so obsessed so maybe that's what it is can you what, what are they like what is that the moment movement. it's like this cartoon oh it's yeah. a cartoon oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the little actually I have a tattoo with it this, this, this oh thing. yeah this one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um yeah it might be that something with, to do with that like, you're gonna find out in like a month I hope so. I hope I get that would be awesome. um so um did you ever, or have you ever forgot the lyrics or anything else on stage, asked Jim Maya. Yes, and it's yeah. the worst thing in the world, like when that happens, it's so horrible. It's just like, ah! What do you do? Like, what like yeah. seriously, it actually, it happened, uh, I played a festival in um, the Faroe Islands just the other day, and like there was this one song where I just forgot a, f a whole fucking line, and I was just, <laughs> I couldn't do anything else because I was like, it's gone, I don't know. I couldn't come up with. I was horrible. It's the worst, actually. But no, I get the sweats just thinking about it. It's horrible. But probably no one really noticed, did they? I, I don't know. It was a full line that was like, "Where we go?" <laughs> but normally it's just like one or two words. But that was pretty bad the other day. Um, um. Okay. Uh, what do you have a favorite place to perform? A uh, festival and also a smaller uh, venue, maybe. Uh. So like whether I like festival or venue yeah. the most. And if, if you have a favorite one. Yeah. Uh, Julia. To be honest, like, it's a boring answer, but I don't really have a favorite because it's, like, it's, it's like playing venues, you can make it very intimate and, like, you can create a different kind of space. But at a festival, there's such a good, you know, festival vibes. Like, people are free and like, oh. So that's amazing, too. And it, it's not that I favor one place over the other like that. So actually, no. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> um... So, uh, also, uh, um, Mouyou France, there's also a site, Mouyou yeah. France, and yeah. Laura, yeah. okay, you know, okay, good. Um, she asked if um, you will eventually bring back some old songs um, into your future set lists. 
Yeah, I, I will. I mean, right at the moment, like, because again, like, my first album came out four years ago, and then I've been doing collaborations and releasing songs. So right now, it's a mix of a lot of things. But I definitely think I'll bring back some of the stuff that I haven't played for a long time at some point. Because it's fun to experiment, so, yeah. Sure. Okay, um, then Julia asks if we can expect some trumpets on your upcoming album. Trumpets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, because, like, I'm super into organic sounds and, like, horns. Like, everything that's, like, made with the sound of someone blowing into it is pretty awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Um, I have a question as well, um, because um, I, you probably don't remember that, but I interviewed you four years ago at Sona. No, no, no. Oh, at Sona. At Sona. I think you call it Sona. Or Sona. And um, uh, no, in Barcelona for Indie Magazine, like ages, ages ago. No, I actually remember that festival, because that was also one of the festivals that I really wanted to play. I was like super excited to, to do that. So uh, nice. Yeah. Okay, good to meet okay. you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just and we I actually read through our old interview when um, before uh, doing this here, yeah. and um, so three years ago you said that your biggest fear is to look back at your life and um, be like, uh, what the yeah. fuck did I do, yeah. and like what happened all the time. So now four years on, or three years on, uh, you became a mega star, and I was really wondering if you would like what you think about that thing now, because you, uh, we talked about exactly those yeah. things, and you reached kind of everything you wished for back then. So, yeah. no, it's true. Yeah, I guess my fear. I mean, I mean, of course, always like when you think about getting older, you always like you're scared that you at some point regret something, but. But it is true, I maybe don't feel that, I mean, I don't know if I feel that fear as much right now, but I'm sure it could come back to me again, that fear at some yeah. point. Like if you, I guess like, always like also when you achieve some of your goals, you always want, you, you set the, the, the goals higher and you, you, you're thinking, oh, how can I be better at this? And oh my God, I should be doing, oh, uh, you know. So yeah, you just, I, I just feel like I'm constantly like moving, uh, you know, in a good way but also like you, you constantly just set the bar and make it harder for yourself as well but in a good way because it's good to challenge yourself and to grow yeah. e exactly exactly um, and also um, I was also wondering because you started with more do you yeah. pronounce it right more? Yeah. More, yeah. and um, then you did your first album and now you're here so I was wondering if you um, how that transitioning was from you from doing punk music to what you're doing now actually like the, the transition happened quite naturally in a way because when we were doing more I was already doing this side project but it was just it was totally different it was just it was me like rapping and like it was kind of more like an art project actually I, we were we were both in art school and so I was doing me actually more like a again as an kind of like an art project I just wanted to be provocating and rapping like a totally different thing like uh, and, and then suddenly when I started doing something that was more personal more just you know, taking away all the and just, you know, being a little bit more myself. Uh, um, and, and I started to get busy with, with that. Then we kind of just, we had to, to stop the band, like, because it got too busy. Uh, and, and again, like, I used to be uh, so much into to punk and to that whole, like, you know, wh what we say, like, activism, punk environment. So, so, but before that, I was super into pop. So always when people ask me about this weird clash, I'm like, yeah, but both things are something that have been huge for me in my life. Like pop music, which was such a big deal for me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But as a teenager, the, the punk and alternative and that whole thing was my everything. And so in a way, like meeting after like becoming 20 and just realizing that I love both and then trying to make music that in a way embodies both like was natural to me, even though it maybe seems like a weird clash, if you know. No, it may it makes sense. It just develop in different yeah. ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and um, the last question is from Marcus. Um, I think a lot of people are asking that. So, when can we see your album? <laughs> yes. Okay. And so my question, uh, my answer to that is going to be, so like I'm I've been working on a lot of songs. Everybody know that for a long time. Um, and I'm going to release something this year, but you know nowadays like there's different ways of like putting like it's, you know you don't it's not necessarily an album it's not you know like there's many ways you can do it on but there's gonna be 
m more music out this year than just singles. So nice. Um, and that last question: um, What can we expect from your live show tonight? Closing concert? Ooh, yeah. I mean, always. Like, I mean, I hope I'm gonna just set myself free and just go crazy like that's always like what i hope for before a show but you you never know like for me it's so important that when you stand on the stage that's when you know in a way you like so i mean normally i'm very energetic and i'm out in the crowd and like ah, and so i hope i think that's what's gonna happen i think it's gonna be really fucking fun amazing thank you so much for coming by thank you bye